Welcome back. This is an Alex homework video on finding atomic mass from isotope mass and natural abundance. If you notice the uh, periodic table, the mass number is always got decimals in it. Even the atomic uh, or the atomic mass of hydrogen is not just one. Normally there's just one proton in hydrogen and that's all, but it's 1.001 something. That means that somehow in the universe or in the world or in whatever we have measured up to now, there is all the hydrogen that we can find. There is more than just hydrogen with one proton in it. There is some isotopes of hydrogen. So one called deuterium has a proton and a neutron. So it has an atomic mass of two and there uh, it's used in uh, nuclear power. And then there's it's um, and then water made from that's called heavy water. It's it absorbs new uh, radiation energy better. Um, also, there's a tritrium where there's two neutrons and one proton. Well, those are very very rare atoms, but they do exist. So the number since there's a since there's a um, like a decimal, what it is it's a weighted average. Okay, so a weighted average the way you do a weighted average. Um, it's basically how I do my grades in a grade book is a weighted average. I'm going to have a certain amount of the mass. Okay, so here's the mass of something that's 96. This is molybdenum with 96 uh, as its mass number. So it has this mass of 95.9, that's 96. And then here's molybdenum 100, which is uh, has a mass of 99.9. So 45% of all the molybdenum in the, in this is a spacecraft, blah, 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 and some planetoid. It's just all made up. But they gave you an example. It's 45% of all the molybdenum in that rock is this mass. And then 55% is this mass. Okay? Well, that's how I do my quizzes. If my quizzes are worth 10% and you got a 95.9, then I say 95.9 times 10% plus, and let's say this is test, 99.9 .9 times 55%, add them together and that's what your final grade is. That's how all of us do it. Okay, so let's do it. You're just going to simply add them together. So 95.9 times 0.45, which is 45%. And then I'm gonna add that to 99.9 .9 at 55%. And then I'm going to add them up. And that's going to be the mass. That'll be the mass that I put here. Now, this is a, since this is all made up in something out in the solar system, regular molybdenum, okay, is 42 on the periodic table. So the atomic the atomic number is always above. Okay, I think on our periodic, periodic table, it's, it's up here in the upper right corner. But normally it's just, here's the symbol. Above is the atomic number, below would be the mass number. So here is 42 because it's molybdenum. All molybdenum is 42. Okay, this is uh, atomic number 42. Here's the mass number, and the mass number is what we're going to add together. Okay, so let's see what we got. We have 95.9 times 0.45. Okay, that's 43.155 plus... Okay, I'll do it again, 99.9 .9 times 0.55, I'm going to have 54.945, okay. All right, so if you remember, this is, this is three significant digits, three significant digits, so you're going to have to round to three significant digits, okay, before you add. So this is going to be, uh, three significant digits would be 43.2. And then this is three significant digits, which is going to be 54 plus not 0.9. Now, when you're adding, they're both to the tens place. So I'm going to round to the tens place. So 43.2 plus 54.9, okay, gives me 98, 98.1. Ninety-eight point one. OK, 
Okay, so let's that would be here ninety eight. My spidey senses say say ninety eight, not ninety eight point one. Let me see why. Uh, this is two significant digits. See the decimal point here? That's two significant digits, so I would round it to the lower, two, two significant digits. So this is molybdenum 42, uh, and then it's called molybdenum 98 with a atomic number 42. Okay, thanks.